In MathCAD Prime 10.0, you can now create text box advanced input controls. Note that this is different from a text box that you can create from the regions group on the math tab. To create one of these inputs, you can go to the input output tab, and then from the advanced dropdown list, we have our different choices, and I will click on text box, and it starts off with a placeholder on the left-hand side where you can define your variable name. I will call this one project. And then if you want this to be wider, you can grab the handle and make it as wide as you want. If you right click on the input, you can choose the edit button. And here is the script that you can edit if you want to, but it's probably easier just to go to the properties tab. You can choose your text alignment, whether you want it to be left, right, or center. You can also choose if you want a multi-line note or you can set this to read only. Let's click the close button. Now let's create a second one over here for the author's name. This time I will start out by creating my variable and then we can use the definition operator. If you go to the math tab, then the operators drop down list, then you can choose the definition operator and the keyboard shortcut is the colon key. Now I can go to the input output tab and then advanced and add a, another text box and make it wider just like before. So now I can enter in the different values that I have here. So for example, my project, I will call this my engineering definition. And then for the author's name, I will put my name. Now we can evaluate these different variables. So for example, project. I'll hit the equal sign and there you can see the string. And now let's evaluate author and then equal sign. And there you can see the value over there. And so these different strings, you can use your different string functions on them. If I go to the functions tab, let's go to all functions. And then down here we have our various different string functions. And if you go to PTC's MathCAD YouTube channel, I made a video where I show a bunch of these different ones. So go over there and check out that video to learn more about string editing.